Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode for you guys here today. Today we're going to be checking out Giant Machines 2017. Giant, 20, Giant Machines 2017 enables you to control seven of the biggest industrial machines ever created on Earth. They'll introduce you into the world of the uh, hydraulic systems, excavator buckets, and the smell of diesel fuel. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start a new game here. And we're going to wipe our current progress. I had to test the game out and see how it does. Um, your first task is to extract the silicone so we can finish the space shuttle. Unfortunately, your main machine has a small mountain function. Use Thug's Toe to get to the field shop. All right. So we kind of walk around here. There's our boots. There's... What is that? Hold on. Walk over here. What is that? Some sort of like carabiner or something like that. We got pallets around, but we can come over here and get inside of this vehicle here. Hello, enter. All right, and then if I hit left control, you can kind of see, oh, this game actually releases uh, September 29th. I wanted to tell you that. It will be on Steam. There will be links in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. But I can hit X to turn the engine on. Okay, and I'm actually, give me a second here. I want to turn up the volume just a smidge here. There we go. Oh, I got the handbrake on. We got to turn the handbrake off. All right, now we got to drive over to the other facility here. But you can kind of get an idea of the size of this crane we're going to be working on. Um, not even a crane, like a digger. So we're going to be going through that. Um, looking around here, there's all kinds of... Other, I don't really see much other stuff. There's like a... I don't know, it's like a big quarry almost. It's really cool. But that thing is just absolutely huge. And I... That's... Wow. That's actually really big. Um, it's kind of like the space shuttle. Land the okay, well, thank you. Let's uh, throw in that handbrake. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me get out. All right, so there's the broken wires. We're going to pick these up. Bring them over to the table and repair them. Oh, I have to hold it. There we go. All right. Come on. Aha. Okay. Now, try not to die while attaching the wires to the actuator 100 meters above ground. All right. So, wow. Oh, wow. We got to get like way up there. All right. So, let's sprint over to the machine. And we're going to attach the actuator wires. This this should be actually pretty good. Uh, let's get up here and climb up all of this. Okay. Uh, there's a ladder there and there's a ladder there. This one looks a little closer. Let's go up this ladder. Okay. Ah, I'm stuck. Get out. Of, let me go. I'm stuck. All right. There we go. Now I need another ladder. This thing is ginormous. Look at that. All right. So we come up here, and then to there, and then I'm assuming, yeah, we'll take this ladder up. Okay, continuing. Let's get up to the top of this ladder. And there we go. We can attach the wires. There we go. Fix like a glove. All right, high voltage keep off. Okay, so we can't touch that. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, get back to the ladder. Oh, wow. Okay, that was that was a little scary. All right, let's get all the way down here. Okay, no, get off the... <gasps> I died. Reload last checkpoint. And now I can jump down off this ladder again. Oh, doggy. Whoa. All right, so let's walk down this one slowly as well. Okay, now we jump off and then we come over here and then we have these things. Oh uh, yeah, let's we can hold that button down and kind of look away. I wonder what that does. Is anything else happening? No, just this. Now this All right. We have to turn on the two fans. That's not doing anything anymore. All right, so come down here. I guess we got to walk around down here. Okay. Jump through that. Oh, am I stuck? I'm kind of stuck. A little stuck. 
Oh, I jumped down to there. Okay, and then up and around. Burp, burp. All right, turn on these fans. Let's toggle that one. And then we have another fan right over here. Okay, there's your cooling. And now we have to get up to the driver's cabin. So that's back down here on this side. I, you know, I kind of find it hard to believe that one guy would control this entire machine. But here's the cabin. Ooh, what is this? Is that this belt? I'm assuming that's the belt, but we're, we need to get inside that room. All right. And so now we can show controls. We can turn on the engine. And now we have to get that over to there. So, oh, I have the handbrake on. All right. So we're now moving. We're a big honking machine. We are, we are totally moving though, but we need to kind of line it up over here. But one thing we can do to kind of help us is go in this other uh, camera mode and it's going to take me a minute, but I'm going to get over there and I'm going to park it. And we're pulling up close here. We got about 10 meters more to go. Let's see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. No, no, I'm way off. This thing's moving much slower than I am. All right. So we're, we're getting close there. There we go. And then we can stop the vehicle. Good work. Good work. We can start mining. All right. Let's get on to the next mission here. And we are going to jump into this big old truck here. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm digging it. Oh wait, we got this little 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 thing right here. Can I drive this? Oh come on, let me drive it. I want to drive it. Okay, well I guess I can't. All right, so let's climb up on this big thing. All right. Man, this thing is huge. Like no joke, this thing is ginormous. Look at all those trucks over there. Oh, I want to drive the trucks over there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and enter this one. Let's look at our controls. So we can also crank up the engine, turn off the handbrake, and uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go ahead and take off here. All right, so where are we going? We need to go, we got about 800 meters to go. All right. And I guess we're gonna drive over to there. Oh yeah, over to our big crane. All right, so I'm gonna drive my way over there, and uh, I guess I guess we'll be back because I'm assuming this isn't that exciting. But yeah, I can't even stay on the road because if I did, like I'm like way bigger than the road. Like I'm probably crushing this road. It's probably just destroyed. Like uh, it doesn't even know what to do. Oh gosh. Oh wow. This thing's actually like really slippery. I don't know. Like it's uh, it's sliding a lot. Like it's drifting. Like check this out. You see that? That's really weird. All right, let's get over there to our uh, to our crane. All right, we're backing this guy in. Let's go ahead and park it here, like so. Turn off the engine, pull on the parking brake, and now we can start digging for real, just like he said. All right, let's get down this. Okay, start up the bucket wheel excavator in operator mode. So that's a totally different seat on this thing. There's like a driver seat and a operator seat. And I still, like, I'm like baffled that one guy would be able to control this. Like, I know, I know this is a game. So it's totally like, I don't know, it's not 100% realistic, I guess. But, you know, I just, I'm surprised. Um, would, do you guys, any of you guys know, would one guy run something like this? I mean, I would definitely think not. It's a lot of maneuvering. I think you'd probably have like a guy at each station plus like two or three more just in case something went wrong. I don't know. All right, let's get down here. And then I'm assuming we're going to use this big old crane bucket excavator. I want to I keep saying crane, but I know it's not a crane. We got some junk on the top of the cab here. Let's come in here. This is what we're going to be in right there. All right, get inside. Okay, and now we have our controls. So we have headlights that we can turn on and off. Go ahead and start up the engine here. Okay, but be careful. All right, so we're going to turn the wheel on. 
Alright, and then we're going to slowly rotate to the right. Until we start taking away some of this terrain. Now I'm assuming that I have to hit probably pretty soon here. There we go. Oh, there it is. You can see it digging. How cool is that? All right, no raw silicone yet. So let's keep going over. Still none. Let's switch camera modes here. Kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. Is there anything like on the conveyor belt right now? Doesn't look like it. But, uh, all right, let's see. We got uh, one more camera mode here. Oh, yeah, it kind of circles around that thing. All right, and then we're just, like I said, slowly going to carry our way over. I don't want to I don't want to put too much pressure on this thing. There, that's a good angle. All right. We're good. That totally does not feel realistic. But I guess we could like take the jib up. And we could take off a little bit less. If we get this thing kind of out of the ground here. Yeah, that seems about right. Got got quite a bit of it coming off. Now, we need a thousand tons, but we're not quite to a thousand tons yet. So I think I might take the jib down here. And see if we can't get some more. There we go. Getting quite a bit more. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish up collecting what we have. Oh, there's the silicone right there. I'm going to finish collecting what we need, and I'll bring you guys back. There it is. We've got the raw ore. So now we got to go down to the unloading shaft and fill up the haul truck. So let's do that. I'm going to turn off the wheel. Okay. And then I'm going to cut off the engine. Turn on the handbrake, and we're going to get out of this thing. And so we need to get down over there. All right, so let's run over that way. Now that, I got to say, that was that didn't take a real long time, but I did have to dig out quite a bit of this mountain, uh, which is actually pretty cool to see that you can actually, like, transform the mountain and, like, do some terraforming and stuff. It's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get down to where we need to be, which just should be right down here. Uh, I need to be kind of on the other side there. Is there? There's not another way down. Let me down. I want to go down. All right. We'll just have to kind of go this way, and then I'll have to cut all the way around just like this. Oh. That was a little weird. Uh, I can't even get through there. All right, so let's come down here. And now I should be able to cut all the way around. Just like I saw. And we can hit this lever. Oh, look at it. Look at it come out. All right, we got all kinds of stuff coming out. I guess I just got to hold it here. I can't actually look. But all right, I'm going to get this truck filled up. All right, so now we just have to unload this stuff. I got it all switched over. So let's go ahead and stop. And now we need to back it into location. Beep, 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 beep. And we're going to have to drop it into the container. So we want to be a little careful here. And I want to look at the controls. And so I can lift this up. I think I'm going to pull forward here a little bit. Just like, just a little bit more, just kind of like that, and we'll put on our, our brakes, and we'll kind of shake this stuff out. I want to do it slowly. I don't want it to like completely destroy this thing. There we go. Unloading it. Look at all of it. It's all going in. Perfect. 
and then I'll go ahead and I'll lift up the rest of the truck. With enthusiasm, we'll get along splendid. All right, that's going to be at the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.